Hey, what's going on y'all? It's your man Pristine back with another video. Welcome to the Pristine review for the Huawei Honor 7X. Now, pardon me you guys, I know that my voice sounds a bit deeper than normal. Um, I'm actually a little hoarse right now. Um, you know, today is Championship Sunday. I just got done watching my Philadelphia Eagles just completely and utterly smash and dominate and obliterate the Minnesota Vikings. Um, so we are making a Super Bowl appearance to see the New England Patriots. This is going to be a repeat of um, Super Bowl 39, which took place back in 2005. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, very excited about that, but I'm a little hoarse from all the screaming and yelling. Um, so um, yeah, just putting that out there. Eagle Nation, man. All you doubters, everybody that wanted to disrespect the Eagles, not show us any respect considering that we were the number one seed, home field advantage, everybody that picked Atlanta, everybody that picked Minnesota. <laughs> you guys already know what you can do, man. You know what I'm saying? Super Bowl time. All right. Now that that's out the way, let's get to the review. All right. So we've got the Honor 7X right here. Now, this just so happens to be my favorite device right now at the moment. Now, I know that we're still at the very top end of 2018. A lot of stuff coming out. Okay, a lot of stuff coming out, but um, one of the first devices that dropped uh, in 18 uh, was the Honor 7X here, and a lot of people are, are, are calling this the budget, the budget smartphone of the year. Now, it's the top of the year, a lot of budget devices are going to be coming out, so we'll see where it stacks up towards the end of the year, um, towards a lot of the competition, but um, this is definitely a good one. Uh, after using this device... Um, just having so many devices I'm, I'm always sim card popping and um, it's something about this device you know with huawei and honor products i mean there's little details and things about their devices little things that they allow you to do that you know you kind of get accustomed to those things and if you you know ride with another option and that option doesn't have some of the features and functions that the huawei and the honor uh, brands bring to the table then it, it'll make you throw your sim card back in their products very fast <laughs> and I've experienced that. So I'd have to say that right now, this is my favorite mobile device. Now, um, you guys already know the order of business with my review. So I want to start off uh, just with the price and the specs. Now, obviously the price being one of the most important specs, this phone is $199, um, which to me is just absolutely insane considering everything that this phone is howling. Um, now, as far as the spec sheet, we've got a... Um, high silicon Kirin 659 processor, which is a Snapdragon 630 equivalent. We've got uh, 32 gigs of onboard storage that can be expanded up to 256 gigs. We've got 3 gigs of RAM. Um, and uh, there is an international version that has 4 gigs of RAM that comes preloaded with 64 gigs, but the US version here, um, it, has, it comes with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of onboard storage. Um, We've got a battery size. We've got a 3,340 milliamp hour battery. We do have the um, a 5.93, basically a six inch display with the 18 by nine aspect ratio. Um, we've got an eight megapixel camera uh, for the selfies on the front. Uh, we've got a dual camera system on the back, uh, which is a 16 megapixel primary camera and a 2 megapixel camera that is specifically for depth information for capturing bokeh effect and things of that nature. Um, so, you know, considering what this phone is 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 packing uh, for the price, I mean, it's actually pretty phenomenal. And I've, I've, sh I've been out with some buddies lately who've seen this phone, they've held it, they've played with it, and they were just completely blown away. And they swore that this was a, <laughs> a phone that was up in the hundreds price range and when i told them the actual price they were they were in shock and awe um so again this is proof that companies you know can make phones that are of quality for very very affordable price tags i mean you don't have to spend 500 you don't have to spend a thousand dollars for a good smartphone experience all right now the build quality let's go ahead here now the build quality to me is very solid. I mean, you see here we've got a full unibody display. Um, 
this is a brushed aluminum uh, it kind of has like that matte black finish or feel to it um, and it feels it feels very good um, it's curved around the edges as you can see so it makes it extremely easy to hold in the hand it doesn't have sharp um, corners on the edges digging into the palm of your hand when you're holding it uh, this phone is very it, it's very comfortable to hold I mean it's a big phone but it's not that it's not you know cumbersome by any stretch of the imagination you know again with it having that 18 by 9 aspect ratio it definitely is stretched vertically rather than horizontally you know so it's longer not wider and uh, that definitely helps as far as being able to handle the device um, but for some of you that feel as though the device is too big you do have the one-handed mode which you just simply swipe across the bars right there and here's your one-handed mode and you can just easily navigate the screen just with with your thumb um, so I like the fact that they put that in there um, but overall my personal opinion on the build quality on a scale from 1 to 10 I gotta say the build quality is a good about a 9 you know what I mean you know uh, well I'll say 8.5 or a 9 you know I'm still when it comes to build quality I mean that's still being completely compared to the essential phone um, I mean I've yet to see a device that's released that has the build quality that that phone has so uh, we'll see moving on in the year what comes out that could top that but for me right now that the, the essential phone is the standard but compared to the essential phone the build quality on the Honor 7X here is solid um, <clears throat> now performance as I mentioned Kirin 659 processor Snapdragon 630 equivalent performance has not been a problem at all whatsoever you can easily navigate through this device opening apps has been a breeze um, okay I don't have any apps open um, but I was going to check the RAM management um, but yeah, we'll go into Google and you see how things just pop right up and they run extremely smoothly Let's see, it's popping the Gmail really quickly, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how snappy this device is. And as you can see, I mean, things are things are pretty speedy, you know what I mean? Um, and I know that that's just a couple of apps open right there, but um, the RAM management on this device is, is, is pretty solid. Um, so, I mean, I've got no problem with the, with the performance at all. I mean, you know, this, the, the processor is nice and snappy. Um, as far as lag, I mean, you know, you get an occasional lag or a stutter, you know, from time to time, depending on what you're doing. You know, if you've got a lot of stuff open, not to say that the device can't handle it because it can, but I noticed the more apps and things that you got running in the background and open, then you may, you know, experience a little stutter here or there. You know, but it's nothing that's too eyebrow raising, nothing that's going to interfere with the overall experience itself. Um, and even some of the heavy hitter of devices that are up in the thousands that have much more powerful processors and more gigs of RAM and all that stuff, they, they every now and then tend to have a little hiccup or a little stutter or something like that. So not really a big surprise, you know, on a budget device here. But I have to say that, you know, the internals of this, of, of this device, they perform really well and you really, really get a, a, a very, very solid experience here with the honor 7x as far as the performance all right now the cameras like i mean i've already did a separate camera review um if you guys want to tune into that uh please do so it's called um honor 7x forward slash the camera go and check that out where there's samples of still shots that were taken with the camera video footage that was taken with the camera both the front and the back lenses um and the pictures on this device are absolutely phenomenal, I must say. Um, now, as I mentioned in those videos, if you tune into that, you know, you tell you tell somebody that a phone costs one ninety nine, and the first thing they do is kind of give you that look like, okay, yeah, you you save some money, but I mean, where 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 are the compromises coming in? You know, where, 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 what did they have to give up in order to offer this package at such an affordable price tag? And so they, people just automatically assume that, oh, okay, well, it probably has a crappy processor or it has crappy cameras and all that. No, not by any stretch of the imagination with this particular device. Now, I know there probably are some devices out there that are like that, but um, yeah, 
everything on this device is solid. The build quality, the performance, I mean, the cameras, oh my goodness, uh, oh my goodness, as I mentioned, we've got an 8 megapixel selfie camera um, on the rear here. You see we've got a dual camera set up right here. One is a 16 megapixel primary camera. The other one is a 2 megapixel lens that is just specifically for depth information like capture, you know, doing stuff with the bokeh effect and all that kind of thing with portrait mode. And you also have that same capability here on the selfie camera as well with the 8 megapixels. So, I mean, go and check that video out. Very, very, very solid cameras. I've taken some beautiful photos. Excellent video quality that I've captured with this device. Um, and it just seems like the more pictures that I take with this device, the more blown away I am by how good these cameras are. Um, so, um, check out that video. Let me know what you guys think about that. But, yeah, I mean, I, what can I say? I mean, this phone is pretty much a masterpiece for a $199 price tag. 200 bucks. I mean, you're really, really getting a really good device. Um, now, the battery life, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we've got a 3300 40 milliamp hour battery that's a pretty big battery you should have no problems lasting all day with this battery you know um no problems at all whatsoever i can easily get through a full day i do not have to charge this device every night um let's say about a day and a half and depending on usage i can probably go two days without charging this phone i'm like this morning i woke up this morning after using a phone all day yesterday pretty much and i had 75 percent this morning um so, you know, the battery life is good. Again, that's going to be dependent on usage, how you use your phone. I mean, obviously, if you're a heavy user, you're going to need to charge your device more often. Um, but if you're a moderate user like myself, I mean, or even a, a really light user, then you can look to get amazing battery life and staying power from this device just off of one charge. Um, now, you know, speaking of the battery, I do have to mention that, you know, I was a little bummed by the fact that they didn't decide to go with USB Type-C, just considering that that's where the market is going. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, you know, the old school USB 2.0. Um, I was kind of surprised by that when I first saw it. And actually, I was kind of knocking the device for that, you know, um, because when I first caught wind of the device, which was, was a little while ago, um, and I saw that it had the USB 2.0, I was just like, well... I'm not going to get that. I'm like, you know, they're still they're, they're, they're still living in the past. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, if you dwell in the past, I mean, you can't make forward, forward strides towards the future, you know. But after reading the specs and, you know, watching a couple other YouTubers' reviews that had their hands on it and just seeing the overall experience that they were having with it, then I was just like, well, maybe I should get it in my hands and actually give it a shot. You know, and I, I can't just judge the device just based off of the charging technology that they decided to go with. Um, and so I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad I made the investment. You know, I'm still not really feeling the fact that it's USB 2.0. I mean, I wish they did have Type-C connectivity on here. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, once you get the device, I mean, and you charge it, it is what it is. It's, it's not a big deal, you know, once you get it in your hands. Um, now, some people have said that this phone does not have quick charging capability. I disagree. And even though they may not advertise it, this phone charges extremely fast. And, and, and I've done it on a few different occasions when I've charged this phone. I've let the phone drain all the way down to zero. And within 55 or 60 minutes, this phone is charged up to 100%. Now, some people have hit me in the comments and they've challenged me on this. Look, man. I, I can't speak for the experiences that you guys are having with your devices. All I go on is how the how the devices perform in my real world day to day usage, my real world day to day testing. Every time I had to charge this phone, for one, I don't charge it until I get down to between zero to five percent or five to zero percent. That's when I throw it on the charger. And every time within an hour or right at about an hour. I was at 100%. Now, call that what you guys want to. To me, that's fast charging capability, whether they're advertising it or not, you know. And, you know, if it's not something that they're advertising, then, hey, I'll just go out. I'll just put it out there and say the phone charges fast if, in fact, it does not have fast charging capabilities. Okay, I'll just put it that way. You know, 
I'm not trying to mislead anybody or anything of that nature. I'm just simply speaking to you about what my personal experience with this device has been. And every time I've had to put it on the charger, the damn thing charged hella fast. All right. So you heard it from Pristine. All right. Now, additional features. I love the fact that it's got a fingerprint sensor on the back that is extremely fast. I like the fact that you can just swipe down with your finger to bring down the notification shade, to pull the notification shade back up. I like the fact that we've got a one-handed mode, as I displayed before. I like the fact that, just like I said, little things, I mean, just being able to customize your device and, you know, being able to change the transitions and things of that nature, you know, just little cool effects like this. You know, they, they, they really give you the opportunity to really personalize your device. Um, I like, you know, um, the ability, two things with the text messaging. You know, if you're, well, I don't want to put anybody's name on blast, but typically when you're texting, the conventional way of texting is, you know, you will see, the conversation in the little bubbles here and then you'll see your keyboard well say if you're in a deep conversation or just whatever type of conversation and you've got like a long test a text you know how like when you're watching a youtube video you can watch it in landscape view like this or you can hit the little box on the bottom right corner to expand the screen to to see the screen in like a full view like a full horizontal view well when you're sending text messages it gives you abil the ability to do that where if you're if you're typing up like a long if you're composing a long message rather than seeing all the bubbles from the conversation you see what that per what the person said what you said what the person said then what you said you can click on it's it's actually on the like right here on the screen where my finger is my left hand here and you can tap on that and it's just kind of like a little square just like it is on YouTube when you want to expand the video and it'll get rid of the conversation bubbles and it'll create more space, you know, for you to type your message. So rather than just seeing it, seeing your message down here close to where the keyboard is, it's actually going to be up top and you've got all this screen real estate up here just to type out your whole conversation. Little stuff like that, that that Huawei and Honor allow you to do. I mean, just having the ability to cancel the text message after you send it, you know, so there's a little timer that goes off when you send a text message. And this is something that you can turn on and off in the in the uh, in the uh, text message settings. But it gives you the option. It gives you six seconds to cancel a text message. That's major, you know, because like I said, what if you want to send somebody something and for whatever reason, you decide that you no longer want to send it and you want to take it back. Well, what you simply do is just double tap on the message and it stops it from sending. You know, that, that that's huge. So like little stuff like that. Um, I like the fact that when you lock the device, double tap the screen to turn the screen on. Now, the one thing that does suck is, you know, it, or would be nice is if you were able to double tap the screen to turn it off. Oh, well, okay. Turn it on and turn it off. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it still has to be on the lock screen. So I notice when the phone is unlocked, now this is my home screen. When I double tap the screen, see that? It won't close the device. So you can only double tap when it's on the lock screen to open up, to wake up the screen or to put it to sleep. So see that okay so now it puts it to sleep now it wakes it up but you're still on your lock screen okay well i just learned something different um so that's a little page out of the lg playbook but the way lg does it is even if you're on your home screen and you double tap the screen it will lock the device or put the phone to sleep and so i was under the impression that this had that same capability but the double tap feature works when you're on the lock screen but you know if you don't want to reach up and touch the button here or the fingerprint sensor, then you can just double tap the screen to put it to sleep or wake it up. Little features like that. I like that. So, you know, 
I'd say, you know, this phone, it's, 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 it's got a, a fair amount of little features and things that you can customize to really personalize your phone experience with this device. And, you know, enough so to where it makes it hard to use other devices, especially if they don't have a lot of the features and functions that this phone has that, that prove to be extremely handy, in my personal opinion. Um, so, my overall final thoughts of the Honor 7X here. This is a wonderful, wonderful device from top to bottom, in my personal opinion. Definitely much more pros than there are cons. Again, no phone is perfect, but I think for a budget device, Honor and Huawei teamed up and they conjured up this device and it is, it's, man, it's, it's phenomenal. You know, 199 price tag, you're getting a six inch display, 18 by nine as, uh, aspect ratio, which is just the thing nowadays, you know. Um, I'm finding it very difficult to use my Moto X4, which is what I'm recording with right now. Not to say that the Moto X4 is a bad device. It's a really good device. It's a really good mid-range device. And stay tuned because the full pristine review is coming for that along with the camera sample video as well. But again, as I mentioned, I adapt to my surroundings extremely fast. And it seems like the way that the industry is going is 18 by 9 aspect ratio. So when you've gotten used to and accustomed to using an 18 by 9 aspect ratio and then you go back to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's like, wait a minute, something something may right you know you don't have all that screen real estate that you do you know and you know just watching you know m watching content you know isn't as delightful as it is when you've got a bigger screen that offers more screen real estate um but then you know honestly let the truth be told i mean you know the moto x4 i mean it's got some nice features and things but the honor 7x just has more it has more features and functions that I find to be more useful. Um, and you're talking about a device that's $199 versus the Moto X4. It's a $400 phone, you know. Um, so stay tuned. Maybe I'll do a comparison with those two, you know. If that's something that you guys would like to see, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that the Honor 7X is a great, great buy. Again, I think it's another example of OEMs putting putting out a product without breaking the bank that really gives you a lot of top quality premium flagship specs you know you've got the 18 by 9 aspect ratio you've got a full uh, aluminum unibody display great selfie cameras dual camera system on the back fingerprint sensor you know full HD display beautiful display I mean these are all things you know what I'm saying I mean that you look to get you know, and, and, and more more expensive, more premium priced devices. All right here at a one ninety nine price tag. Two hundred dollars gets you the Honor Seven X here. All right. So if you like this video, definitely tap that thumbs up button. I gotta say the Honor Seven X is a is a major go, in my opinion. I could recommend this device to anybody. Anybody. You know, the price is right. The performance is right. The battery life is right. The camera performance is right. The screen real estate and just the overall beauty and quality of the screen is right. There's not really too much wrong with this device. It's not perfect. But as I mentioned, I mean, the pros definitely outweigh the cons with this particular device. Um, let me see. Let me see. Oh, it, it does have a finger. It, it does have... A 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's what I meant to say. You know, so for all you people that still like to plug in, you do have a headphone jack to plug into. So you got that going for you as well. Let me see. What are some of the cons? It, mm, it It's not, it doesn't have an IP rating. Okay, it's not IP67 or 68 or from what I can tell, it's not IP dust or water resistant anything. So, you know, with this device, I mean, you definitely want to keep it protected. Try not to drop it in water or spill anything on it because then you're going to have a problem. I know for some of you that could be a deal breaker, um, which I can't understand why 
all the things that the phone has going for why someone would not want to go with this route just because it doesn't have waterproofing um but hey i mean you know different strokes for different folks um but honestly for me the two things that i don't really like about this device is the fact that it has the usb 2.0 and i also don't like the fact that again with 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 the internet networks that you're able to connect to okay <clears throat> At my home, and I know this is the standard everywhere, you've got the 2.4 gigahertz network and you've got the 5 gigahertz network. Now, obviously, the 5 gigahertz network is the faster, more speedier network. Okay, This phone does not allow you to connect to the 5 gigahertz network. It will only allow you to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network. And I don't understand why. I'm like, you know, this is it's 2018. I mean... I find it to be very strange. So between the fact that I'm not able to connect to my 5 gigahertz network and the fact that it's still rocking the USB 2.0, I mean, to me, those are the only those are the only drawbacks with this particular device. Aside from that, like I said, I mean, all the all the cons are the, the the pros that I just named. You know, it comes with the soft shell TPU case right here. I mean, so you don't have to go fishing around for accessories. Everything comes in the box, man. Everything that you need comes in the box for $199. Come on, man. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. All right. So as I mentioned, if you guys like this video, be, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already to expose yourself to tons of more content like this coming very, very soon. To all of my subscribers, much love. I love and appreciate all you guys for rocking with me. All my new subscribers, welcome to the journey. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate your subscription, and I hope that I can continue to provide you guys with the information that you need on the smartphones that you want to know information about. This is all just to help you guys make an informed decision on smartphones that you may want to invest in. All right, and with the feedback that I get, it appears as though... These videos that I've done have helped a lot of people make decisions on a lot of different phones. And that's main, that's that's what I do this for. And so it just brings me joy just knowing that I can put some time in to make these videos and somebody's really getting something out of it to really help them decide on a smartphone. Me, I'm changing smartphones every week and a half, two weeks, it seems. Sometimes more than that, you know. But a lot of you got a lot of the average consumers out there, you know, you guys are purchasing devices and you're rocking with those phones for like a year, year and a half, two years, if not longer. You know, so I do this just to kind of give you guys as much information as possible before you, you know, make a commitment. I do this to also shed light on a lot of companies that you guys may not hear of that don't get a lot of push here in the States. You know, it's not just about Apple and Samsung, HTC, LG, all these heavy hitters. You've got tons of OEMs out there making very, very good quality smartphones. And they're not charging an arm and a leg for them. And so those are the things that motivate me to do this. You know, so as long as I know that I'm continuing to help people with this thing, it doesn't matter if it's just one person. We're going to keep this thing rolling, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep it locked here on Pristine Mobile Tech. We're going to do it big here in 2018. Y'all stay tuned. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Your time is greatly appreciated as always. And you guys already know, man, please stay safe. Get spiritually fit with Christ. We're definitely living in the last days. I'm not going to preach to you, but just be mindful of that, man. Just be mindful of that. The coming of Jesus is coming, you know, and the question is, will you be ready? Get spiritually fit. Keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. This is the Honor 7X. I'm your man, Pristine, bringing you the content. Catch you guys in the next video. Eagle Nation, all the way to the Super Bowl. I told y'all. I told y'all. I'm out.